basically assess these cases uh, on a case of ca to case basis and we'll see if you actually uh, have like a reasonable motive question for Carrie Lam. Uh, a protester a young protester was shot uh, by police with live ammunition on your streets your streets of Hong Kong um, it's clear that two things could help diffuse this situation one is that you launch an independent inquiry into how the police are dealing with these protests and two, your stepping down, your resignation. My question is, are either of those things, uh, or both of those things, going to happen? Well, as I've said in my introductory remarks, uh, we are very concerned about the large number of uh, young people and students in being involved in these uh, violent protests, and many of them being arrested. Specifically about the um, uh, young student you mentioned, uh, as I'm sure you, you know, uh, the young person has been charged for rioting and for attacking the police. This is something we would not like to see, and that's why we made a very strong appeal to parents and to principals and teachers to keep their young people away from such violence. And the uh, making of this uh, regulation today also aims to enhance the deterrent effect against such uh, violent protesters. Uh, as far as uh, independent inquiry, uh, I have already made uh, our position known on the 4th of, in fact, throughout the process, but more categorically on the 4th of September when I provided a video message to each and every of the demands. Uh, stepping down is not something that will help the situation. Hong Kong is now in a very critical state of public danger, and I and my principal officials will try our very best to return calmness and order to Hong Kong society. But this seems to be escalating it rather than diffusing it. I think we all have our own hypothesis for the escalating violence that has taken place on the streets of Hong Kong, and we believe that stepping up law enforcement and creating the necessary legal means to enhance deterrent effect is one of the ways that we could de-escalate the situation. The other way is, of course, to start a political dialogue, which uh, we have started, including the district dialogue platform session that uh, we organized last week. And I and my principal officials are fully committed to continuing that dialogue with the people of Hong Kong. One more English question. Uh, CNN. Christy Lustat with CNN. A question for Chief Executive Carrie Lam. You have taken a very dramatic step today. And you said you're doing so in order to save the present and future Hong Kong. If this measure fails to bring stability back to Hong Kong, what will you do next? What additional measures, what additional emergency measures mm -hmm. do you plan to take next? Well, um, the decision that uh, the Chief Executive in Council has made uh, this morning, as I said, is not an easy decision. Okay, uh, especially when we are invoking a piece of legislation that has not been used for some time. I fully understand that. And that's why we have taken the trouble to study and examine and re-examine before we come to this decision this morning. Okay? But I would say that um, it is a responsible decision that we have taken because of the much escalated violence that we have seen, especially in recent days. Uh, I'm sure you know that uh, on a single day of the 1st of October, uh, we have over 200 people, uh, 200 uh, violent protesters and rioters being, uh, being arrested, and we have seen a lot of um, uh, violence in different districts in Hong Kong. Now, of course, uh, it is our, um, our objective and our aim to de-escalate the situation and to end the violence. Uh, we, we are not 100% sure that the step, this single step that we have taken today will achieve that objective. But as you will realize, and I said in answering to uh, a Cantonese question, the situation is a fluid one and an evolving one. And the uh, government as well as our law enforcement agencies are on the re reacting side. If there's no violence, if there's no protest, we do not need to have all these uh, instruments uh, with us in order to uh, deal with this violence. So uh, we will have to closely monitor the situation, and I appeal to members of society to help us uh, to end the violence 
by appealing to not only um, the young people but also uh, other sectors in society to join our hands together to restore law and order to Hong Kong. Of course, if the situation worsens, I suppose uh, that's your question, then as a responsible government, we will continue to have to identify other means that we could tackle the situation. Uh, but in doing so, in the same way that we have uh, fully examined before coming to this single decision today, we will be extremely cautious in making sure that whatever we do is in the overall public interest of Hong Kong.